Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers to find the length of the shortest line from the given point which is 0, 0, 25 by 9 to the surface z is equal to x y. Let's take the general point x comma y comma z on the surface z is equal to x y. So the distance from this point to this we take d equal to root of x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 25 by 9 whole square. Now let's square this. So we get d square equal to first term is x square, second term is y square and third term as it is z minus 25 by 9 whole square. Let's take this as the function small f of x comma y comma z which is x square plus y square plus z minus 25 by 9 whole square. And let's take g of x comma y comma z as the surface equation but we have to take x y to the other side so z minus x y. Now we have to write the auxiliary function using these two. The auxiliary function is capital F of x comma y comma z comma lambda. The function capital F is in terms of x y z and lambda which is f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z. So let's substitute here. So capital F equal to x square plus y square plus z minus 25 by 9 whole square plus lambda into z minus x y. Now we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. So we get 2x plus lambda into z differentiation 0 and here it is minus y. And fy is partial differentiation with respect to y which is 2y first and third term are 0 and coming to the last part lambda into y differentiation is 1 and with that the constant we have is minus x. Then fz partial differentiation with respect to z. So 2 into z minus 25 by 9 plus lambda into 1. So which is lambda. As per the condition and the working procedure, we have to equate all these 3 to 0 and get lambda. So from the first equation, minus lambda y equal to minus 2x. Minus lambda y equal to minus 2x. So from this lambda equal to after cancelling these two minus we get 2x by y. Let's take this as first equation. From the second equation the value of lambda is 2y by x. Then from third equation the value of lambda is when I take this term to the other side it will come minus 2 into z minus 25 by 9n. Now, let us take this as the third equation. Since all the three are lambda, we will equate. So, 2x by y equal to 2y by x equal to minus 2 into z minus 25 by 9n. We are taking first two terms and equating, we get 2x by y equal to 2y by x. Let's cancel these two and cross multiply. We get x square is equal to y square. So we got a relation. From this, suppose if we take y equal to square root of x square, this will become plus or minus x. So this will keep it as it is. Now let's equate the second and third term. So we get 
2 y by x equal to minus 2 into z minus 25 by 9. So we will cancel these two, and if we cross multiply, y is equal to minus x into z minus 25 by 9. From this, I have to get what is z. So let's bring the x term to the denominator. Y by minus x equal to z minus 25 by 9. And already we know y is plus or minus x. So now we are going to get two cases. That is, here y is equal to x is one case. Y is equal to minus x is another case. If I substitute y as plus x. This will become y by minus x will become x by minus x, which is minus one. So minus one is equal to z minus 25 by 9. But when I put minus x, it will become one equal to z minus 25 by 9. So again, the first set is y is equal to x. When I bring minus 25 by 9 to this side, it will become plus 25 by 9. Minus one equal to z. Similarly, the second set is y is equal to minus x, and it will become 25 by 9 plus one equal to z. Now, from this, if we take LCM, the value of z will become 25 minus 9, which is 16, and from this, the value of z becomes 25 plus 9, which is 34 by 9. So let's use the surface equation. Z is equal to x y, which is given in the question. Z is equal to x y. So here we already know the value of z, which is 16 by 9 or 34 by 9. And from this, we have to use any one of the case. Actually, we have to use both the case. Suppose if I use the first case, that is. Using y is equal to x and z is equal to 16 by 9 in z is equal to x y. So what will happen is this is 16 by 9 equal to x is x itself and y is also x so it becomes x square. So from this x value is plus or minus 4 by 3. Suppose if I use using y is equal to minus x and z is equal to 34 by 9 in z is equal to xy so here 34 by 9 equal to x is x but y is minus x so we are getting minus x square equal to 34 by 9 it means the value of x square is equal to minus 34 by 9 when we take a square root x is equal to plus or minus root of minus 34 by 9 so this is not a real value so not a real value so we ignore this point we take only the first set whatever we got here x is plus or minus 4 by 3 and z is 16 by 9 and y and x are equal Therefore, the stationary points are. Let's take x as positive 4 by 3, comma x and y are equal in this case. So if this is 4 by 3, this also 4 by 3, and z value is 16 by 9. So this is one point, and another point is 4 by 3, negative 4 by 3. X and Y are equal, so minus 4 by 3, but Z is same in both the cases, so 16 by 9. So we got two stationary points. Now, what we have to find is the length of the shortest line, and the shortest line from 0 0 to 25 by 9. So let's take this point as A and this point as B, and the point given in the question is 0 comma 0 comma. 25 by 9. Now, let's find the distance AP. AP is root of 
फोर बाई थ्री माइनस जीरो होल स्क्वायर अगेन प्लस फोर बाई थ्री माइनस जीरो होल स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन बाई नाइन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई नाइन होल स्क्वायर सो नाउ द रिस्टेंस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इस नथिंग बट रूट ऑफ दिस इस फोर बाई थ्री होल स्क्वायर दिस इस सिक्सटीन बाई नाइन this is again 16 by 9 and this is 16 by 9 minus 25 by 9 is minus 9 by 9 but we have whole square it is actually one square which is one so first term and second term we add 32 by 9 plus 1 if you take lcm it will become 9 is lcm so 32 plus 9 Within the root, so 41 by 9 within the root. So this becomes root 41 by 3 units. Let's find BP. So BP distance between minus 4 by 3, minus 4 by 3, and 16 by 9, and this. So minus 4 by 3 minus 0 whole square will be again 16 by 9. Then minus four by three minus zero whole square is again sixteen by nine. Then sixteen by nine minus twenty five by nine whole square again it is one. So we get the same expression. So this answer is going to be root forty one by three units. Since both are same, so both are the shortest distance from this point. Therefore, let's write the length of the shortest shortest line. From the point is length of shortest line from the point zero zero twenty five by nine is root forty one by three units.